Hey guys, Scott from Fright Props here, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to program our flame units using a Pico DMX and the Director software. Uh, Director software is a free download, and I'll put a link to where to download it in the description for this video. Uh, the Pico DMX is a controller that allows you to uh, program DMX fixtures without actually having to use DMX, which is a kind of confusing lighting protocol. Uh, so it's nice to be able to work around that. Uh, first thing you'll want to do when you get your directors actually updated, you can go up here to help and uh, choose check for updates. Make sure you have the most up-to-date version so that you're seeing all the current options that are available. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is create a new show. This should pop up when you open. It should already be on the new show tab here. And you can title your show. We're going to call this one FP Demo 1. And then select the Pico DMX, which is what we're working with today, and hit select. So this will open up our editing window, and the first thing we need to do is add a unit to control or program. So in the bottom left-hand corner, you see this little plus symbol. Click there, and that's how you add a DMX device to control. It'll pop up a list of devices. Today we're working with a DMX fixture, so click that, and it will open up the device browser. The device browser has a number of preloaded fixtures from different manufacturers. We have American DJ, Chauvet. Uh, Gantam and of course Fright Props. If you're using one of our flame units, you'll just go ahead and select Fright Props and it will pull up the currently available uh, flame units. We currently have three different units available. We have the Flame Blaster, the Hellfire Flame Cannon, and the Cerberus Three-Way Flame Shooter. Uh, the Flame Blaster and the Hellfire Flame Cannon are both single output units. They just have one output, they shoot flame straight up into the air. Uh, the Cerberus Three-Way has three different flame outputs. Um, the Flame Blaster and the Hellfire Flame Cannon are programmed very similarly. Uh, the only difference between the two is that the Hellfire Flame Cannon uses LPG, liquid propane gas, and the Flame Blaster uses um, canisters of fuel oil. The only difference in the way they're programmed is that the Flame Blaster requires two channels of DMX, uh, and they both need to be on whenever you want to activate the unit. The Hellfire Flame Cannon only requires one. So we'll go ahead and just demo the Flame Blaster since it's a little bit odd and that it requires the two channels and it'll give you kind of a basic blueprint on how to program the other basic units. So you want to just select Flame Blaster here and click select and then you'll have to click select again and it will auto populate our editing window. You can see that we have uh, two channels here both for the igniter. Um, you want to make sure that these uh, uh, little round circles here are red. If they're green that means you can't actually do anything here in the editing window. So I want to make sure they're red. That means you can record uh, your sequence. The next thing you'll notice is that there's a timeline, uh, counting up one second, two second, three seconds, and so on. And then a bunch of white boxes here that are currently empty. In order to turn on the DMX signal at a certain time, you just need to check the boxes. And if you want a longer sequence, you can just click and drag. To undo, you can just click again. In a red spot, you can drag and it will deselect. Or you can just click on a, a box to turn it back off. So let's say for our Flame Blaster show, we want to do uh, start off with one second of uh, flame on. Uh, maybe we'll take a second break, and then we'll do another full second. Again, uh, for the Flame Blaster unit, you do need to have both of these channels filled in. Uh, maybe at four seconds, we'll do a half second blast. And then we'll finish it off at five seconds with three short blasts. One, two, and three. Once you have your show all laid out and ready to go, the last thing you have to do is export it. You may want to save first just to make sure everything's kind of locked in the way you want it. And then you'll click the export button. We're going to save this show to an SD card, so make sure you have an SD card inserted in your computer's uh, card reader. And hit select. It'll go ahead and export. It should only take a second here and pop up the export instructions. All you have to do is uh, eject the SD card from your computer and remove it, and then we're going to go ahead and put it into the uh, Pico DMX. A red light will turn on as the Pico DMX reads the program. Once the flashing green light turns on again, the program is stored, so you can take the SD card out. Go ahead and hook your Pico DMX up to your flame unit, trigger the Pico DMX, and watch the show.
if you're going to be working with the Cerberus three-way flame shooter, it programs slightly differently because it has three different channels, one for each of the three different flame outputs. It's kind of cool because you can, since this uses flame oil canisters, you can put a different color of flame oil in each of the three outputs to have a kind of cool multicolored flame show. So from the drop-down menu uh, of fixtures, you select Fright Props and then choose the Cerberus three-way flame shooter. It'll auto-populate all the necessary information uh, for the director software. Just hit select and select again, and it'll bring up your editing window. So this time you can see we have three different rows uh, in, to program for the three different igniters. So let's say uh, for our Cerberus show, we wanted to first have all three outputs on at the same time. Just fill in all three up to one second. Then maybe about a half second break, and we want to do kind of a ripple uh, from left to center to right, and then maybe back again from right to center to left. Then maybe about a second break, and we want to do, let's say, the middle on, and then the left and right on at the same time. And then maybe we'll finish up with another uh, full second of all three uh, ports on. And again, just clicking and dragging to fill in the spots where I want the flame blaster to turn on. So once you have that show all set up the way you like it, again, just click export. Uh, you might want to save first. You can save. And then click export and export it to your SD card, same as before. Uh, pop out the SD card once it's done exporting. and Put it into the Pico DMX, wait for the red light to come on and then turn off and the green light to blink. Take your SD card out, hook your Pico DMX up to your uh, flame unit and watch the show. It should be noted that all of our currently available flame units need to be set to a DMX address of 2 to be controlled by the Pico DMX. You can do that either by using the push buttons on the side of the unit or by setting the dip switch on the side of the unit to address 2. So that's a quick overview of how to use the director software and the Pico DMX to program our flame units. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment on this video or send us an email at sales at Thanks a lot. See ya.